morning, good evening, and good afternoon to you one and all. This is Little Daffodil coming to you today from Wyland's Early Access. Yes, Wyland's Early Access, where it's, uh, yeah, it's raining in the distance. It rains a lot in this game. I don't know what that is about, but it's raining a lot. So since the last episode, I have gone and filled in some of this map, which I think I had this map at the end of the last episode. Um, and I went back and I found the Starter Island, and I've found two, three islands now, all together. And what I've decided to do, this is the biggest of the islands. And it's, it's actually um, got the kind of the biggest mix of resources. So I've decided to make my home here. Okay. And the reason I picked this particular spot is it's one of the few places along the coast here where I can actually park me boat uh, right on the shore because man it is so easy to get stuck uh, in shallow water and the only way to get off of a reef when you're stuck on it is to back up back the boat up drop you know raise your sails and just back up because going forward or trying to go sideways not gonna work so <clears throat> I spent a lot of time figuring that out, unfortunately. <laughs> uh, but I wanted a place where I could pull up close to shore until I, such time as I can figure out how to build a wharf. Now, nighttime is upon us, and I think it's finally stopped raining enough for me to go over here and use my bamboo bed. Um, I have established a, uh, a small camp here, basically with all of the same basic things that we had in the starter island. So I've made, you know, a new loom and a new spinning wheel and a new tannery set up and a new smelter and a new um, blacksmith forge and all that good stuff. I've made some chests to store all my things out of bamboo. So I have a chest for food and a chest for other supplies and a stove. And so from over here, I am going to go ahead and uh, forge forward to create myself a little home. Now, one of the things that um, I'm able to do here that where I, on Starter Island, I couldn't put plants down because those, those goats, do you remember the goats? The goats had a great time eating them every time I tried. So it was not something we ever did on camera because, well, it didn't work. They would eat them. So I've started building a little growing area over here. I don't have any natural herbivores in the area. The closest thing are the horses and they're staying over there. But I still experimented with building fences and, and kind of just playing around so far with the different things that this game allows me to do. Because of course I don't have a clue what I'm doing. I'm also uh, growing bamboo everywhere I can because my plan is to build my home out of bamboo. And I have picked a spot um, over this direction. My thought is to build a dock, okay, off of this little spot right here. So if I build a dock out that way, I just have to get out there a little bit on the uh, raft and just make sure that it's not too shallow there. Build a dock out that way, people will come in and walk up this way, and this would be the entrance to the house and I've been using a shovel to kind of level it out and experimenting with what I can make and I can make these bamboo platforms and these posts which I've started to I'm just basically been running around collecting all kinds of bamboo so that I can do this and then I'm just learning how this all works so if I'm correct I can do that I may need to clear the dirt a little bit more. I kind of want it to be matched and squared. Um, now once I place one of these blocks in this method, after it's been there for two minutes, it hardens. And I was just reading something. I want to test it out. If I hit V, Aha! Uh -huh. If I hit V, I can place these things and they don't harden in place. This is a free freeform mode, but I have to keep turning V on and off or it defaults to the grid. 
Now the grid is helpful for lining things up. But the big reason I wish I had known this sooner is, okay, oops, sorry, I keep hitting the wrong buttons. Um, all this stuff that I built on the starter island, I left on the starter island, along with my small boat and some other items that would be useful if I respawn there because I die. Uh, I built this bigger boat and I put two sails on it because let me tell you, the thing is slow without two sails. But when I built all these things, of course I put them down here and I'm not going to be able to pick them up and move them. I've made them, I'm going to have to make them again because once you place them, you can't pick them up. You can destroy them, but you can't pick them up. Now, if I had placed them in freeform mode, apparently I would have been able to pick them up later. So I'm gonna have to remember that because when I, I want I'm gonna go ahead and put the floor down on this house and put the walls up and probably let them harden, and that will apparently prevent other people from walking off with my walls. But I'm also in a single-player world, so it's really not a heavy concern for me. Why are these different colors? I just realized that they're different colors of green, and I don't know why. I mean, they're all bamboo, right? Hang on. There's just one kind of platform. I guess I'm just going to have to live with that for now. I may not have much of a choice. Anyway, um... I'm going to go ahead and, and, and harden this building. I don't really have a problem with the idea of it being here permanently because it is going to be a structure. And if I ever really want to change the floor for, for wood, I will go ahead and make myself a new floor and then rip off the old floor. But I like the grid because look how easily I just placed all of those. And then for the walls... I'm going to need to be able to, let's see, J, and then K. I'm going to need to be able to place these. I think this is what I want to do for the walls. But now I'm not sure if I'm going to place them on the ground. It doesn't seem to want to let me. You know, it's, it's all red, so I'm not sure if it wants to let me. Let's try lowering it a bit. Oh, it likes that, and it likes that. What I want to do, I wish it would stay right there while I change the camera angle so that I can get the view that I want. I'm trying to decide if I want that to sit. Let me place it. See, if I sit it like that, and then I take a piece of something else and run it along the bottom of the wall, that'll give the wall some interest. So I think, yeah, I'll do that. So the walls will go like that. And this is going to be where my door goes. I put that piece there just to see how it would place, but I think I'm going to have to remove it, which is going to destroy it because it is hardened in place. And when you go to remove something that's hardened in place, it takes a little while, a little longer than just chopping down the tree that it initially came from. It really, it really likes being there. Uh, and then you don't get all the materials that were in it back, um, which is kind of, it kind of sucks, but you know, I, I understand. So let me find my shovel. Here is my iron shovel. My iron shovel is how I have been leveling the property. So, you flatten the sleigh. See if I can get just a little bit off the edge of there. Let's see if we can square this off. This actually works really quite well. Yep. That's good. Oh, that worked. All right. Uh, let me go gather some bamboo, eat some food, and I will be back with you in a wee bit. All right. So I've been gathering resources and slowly kind of building out, choosing my materials. This is this is a laborious process because uh, of the sheer volume of materials that I'm trying to pick up. Um, the bamboo, you have to get a lot of it. <laughs> you have to get a lot of it. And then you have to make the nails and you have to do all this stuff too. The windows require nails. So this is kind of what I've decided for the outside wall. 
a row of a bright bamboo, followed by a row of medieval windows, all surrounded by beams and by more bamboo. And then, of course, the roof will go on there. Now, on the inside, and I've got to go get more wood, I decided to go ahead and, and do the bamboo around the outside edge of the floor and then do wood planks on the center. I just, I, I, I couldn't, I, I didn't like the idea of all. Why do I have beams sitting there? I've been dropping things because my inventory is so full. So I have a feeling I dropped those beams there and I didn't know it. Um, anyway, so I, yeah, I decided to do a center floor of planks and I think that's good. It's a nice contrasting. And of course I outlined the entire outside of the, the walls below um, in the beams. So that is the design so far. I have no idea what I'm gonna do for stairs and roof yet, except that I'm gonna continue with these materials. So I just keep basically uh, working through until uh, I can't work anymore because of severe rain or nighttime. If it's, it's you know what's annoying? If it's raining, I can't sleep in the bed because who can sleep in the rain? But in order to build a shelter, I you know I could make a little simple blockhouse, I guess, and toss the uh, a bed in it, but I don't want to do that. I want something a little bit more significant than that. So that is why I'm kind of working through and trying to get a house together because I think it'll be much better. So I wish I could build a tent, but apparently there is no, or at least I haven't found a way to build a tent. So I need to keep gathering up materials. I need sticks for the medieval windows. I need grass for rope to make the um, bamboo panels that I'm using. And then of course I need more just regular old wood and bamboo to make all the same stuff too. I do like that I can just kind of run through the world and keep clicking and the character will just pick up whatever can be picked up. And I have made the container, all the container pouches that are available. So I have one for seeds, I have one for herbs, and one for coal. So it, my inventory doesn't get completely bombarded with all this stuff that I'm picking up right away. It is a nice, nice thing to, to have it be that way. It saves me trouble of having to run back and forth quite so often to load and oh 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 hello kitty i haven't seen anything to attack in a while apparently i just want to attack the ripe corn there we go sometimes i do have a really hard time hitting my target it just seems like i, I think i'm aiming at the target but apparently i am not so anyway i am going to go ahead and continue gathering and gathering and gathering more stuff I'll work on the house some more and I'll bring you back in when there's some progress to take a look at. Well, it is definitely slow going, but I'm liking my progress so far. I have a front door now. Not entirely sure I love the way the door got framed out because I, was, I thought it would fit the width of one of the panels, but it didn't. So I ended up having to frame around it. I actually wanted to put a set of double doors in there, but that wasn't working either. But this is progress. It's just slow going. Part of it is the resource gathering. Part of it, of course, is learning how to interact with the pieces in order to continue to build. What I need to decide now is do I want to continue the windows all the way around? or just go ahead and build the walls. And then there's the roof. Oh, the roof. They do have some angled, well, quite a few actually, just different angles of blocks. The hard part is you have to make one and then place it to find out what it's like. And, and you know, there's all these different shapes. <sighs> Maybe I need to go ahead and get into a creative version and see how they work before I try this, but I, I kind of want to just wing it as well. 
And then, of course, we have straw blocks. We could do a straw roof on the whole thing, but I'm not really, eh, you know, not really inclined to do that at this point. And, oh, wooden fences of a more formal nature than I have seen before. Wooden railings. We'll have to do a porch at some point, I think. Anyway, okay, I yeah, I'm getting, oh, awning, awning corner, awning top. Yeah, I'm getting distracted again. Okay, I am going to go back to resource gathering, and I'll be back again in a while. Uh, hopefully with all the walls in and ready to start the roof. All right, so I'm at the point where I have all the walls up. I'm content with the walls. I'm content with having the, the window, medieval window all the way around. I can't make glass yet, so that's, that's as close as it gets. I'm trying to figure out what to do for the roof. Now there's these bamboo blocks that appear to be on angles. So I'm pretty sure that they're intended to be the bamboo equivalent to these roof blocks. The hard part is that I can't tell exactly where these pieces go. Like, I have to make them and look at them to figure out what they do. So it's a little frustrating. I've decided to go with the wooden roof blocks and there's two different angles that I've decided to use. One is a more steep angle which will be the main roof and then along the ridge line, well I don't know if ridge line is the right word, the ridge is the top of the roof. Along the edge here I'm doing a lower angle one to give it just kind of a cascading lip and eventually I might push that out and make a porch. Now this is going to be tedious, I can tell already this is going to be tedious. The thing that's going to make this not so tedious is the fact that once I place one and then I place another, the grid allows me to pop them on over and over and over again. So that's that's something I'm liking because uh, these roof blocks are narrow. So I'm going to want to put this lip. Let's see how many of these I have. I'm going to want to put this lip block along the back as well as the front. And then I haven't decided for sure yet if I want to do it on the sides. But see, now I can just go click, click, click click and I'm run out but in the meantime if I had enough I could do that so I'm gonna need a lot of wood now here's something interesting there is a block I think if this works the way I think it does that's designed to go on the corner if I can get it in place I think uh, uh, the placement I wish oh that worked I wish I could fly, because, <laughs> uh, yeah, that does. It wraps the corner. And then there's another one that's the inverted angle, so I guess that would be where two roof joints meet. So you can make some really complex roofs with this. That would be really cool. The only thing is that it's so difficult to place the blocks, and there's no scaffolding in this game. I really want some scaffolding. I want to be able to get up here more easily. If I didn't have this... And it's not that easy to stay up. There we go. If I didn't have this little hill on the side, I would have to figure out some other way of getting up here. And so scaffolding needs, we need scaffolding. Because everything is put in here hard once you place it. Let's see what that looks like. Come on. Nope, almost, almost. There we go. So this should make a full line. Yeah, I could make a full line up if I wanted to do the roof like that all the way around. I don't think I do though, but I do want scaffolding. I really do. Because if I build anything to stand on to work on the roof, it becomes permanent. And that kind of doesn't work for me. So before I get too far along on the sides, because of course ripping this back down, deciding I don't like it is gonna be tragic because it's gonna take forever to rip down. I wanna go ahead and build the peak and see what the end will look like. Yeah, did I get it? Yes, okay. It's so hard to get the camera angle and the blah, everything lined up. Now, here's a little trick that I have figured out for getting the next one up. You have two minutes when you place a block. Two minutes before it hardens. So I put a temporary block in, I put the next roof block up, and then I take the, t oh, I got it wrong. 
and then line it up right. Okay, so let's do it again. We're going to put the temporary block up, and then we're going to place the roof block and turn it. No, the other way, the other way. Okay, now we go pull it back, place it. Now it works. Now I remove the temporary block. It gives me something to put the permanent block on. So that's just a little trick because trying to put a block free floating, no, it doesn't work because you can't just land it. You have to have it touching another block for it to really feel like it's, or to really get it precisely where you want it. So that's just a little trick. A little trick that saves me a lot of headache, I gotta say. <laughs> So I am completely frustrated with the lack of scaffolding and I have come up with an idea. I am going to build myself a hill. See, in goes the dirt. I'm just gonna build up the dirt, build up the dirt until I am standing tall enough, and hopefully I don't bury myself in the process, until I'm standing tall enough to be able to work here in this space on the end of the building. Now, I'm in more of a, I'm not looking behind my character's head, I'm now looking through my character's eyes. To get that, click C on your keyboard and that will narrow your focus and I'm finding that to be a helpful thing with some of this stuff. So I wish I could control the hill I'm making a little bit more, but that's what all the shovels are for too. The shovels and the pick and the whole thing. So for now, let's see what this does for me as far as making it possible for me to work on this roof a little more easily. Huh. I'm high enough up anyway, that's for sure. So let's try placing the next roof block. And you know, it. Uh, I want a better solution than this for scaffolding. I want proper scaffolding. I want something that I can th put up and then take back down. I thought about using you know, a ladder the ladder would be permanent because apparently the free placement thing I was talking about early in the video only works, I gotta get the angle right here, um, only works with certain blocks. So it's, it's, and ladders aren't one of them. Once you place the ladder, it's there. And I just hate the idea of having to place something knowing I'm going to have to rip it down. Well, it's still a little frustrating, but it's that's much easier because you should have seen me a few minutes ago trying to put that very roof block up. It did not go well. I just say that. It did not go well. All right, so I've made myself a spade. I have the shovel and uh, now the job. Okay, this work is scaffolding. I've started working on the end there, but I need to take it down. So now I got to figure out how to get it down. And I'm thinking, there we go, the spade, which is designed to make a hole, is probably the easiest way to go, although it's not working. Some of it's coming down. But, uh, ah, there we go, there we go, there we go. That's working. I have trouble getting the tools exactly where I want them. I know that there's a, an image on the screen of four triangular arrow things pointing toward the middle and that middle point. Now I've got a glob of dirt. I have a glob of dirt. I need the glob of dirt to go away. So let's try flattening. And that's not doing anything. And that's not doing anything. Um, oh wait, that's there we go. We're digging down with the shovel. Okay. Anyway, I, like I was saying, I have trouble getting it precisely where I want it. So I need to figure out a better way. Clearly I need a better way. I mean, I'm going to use this trick of scaffolding with dirt again, so I need to figure out how to clean up my dirt pile, don't I? Yeah, I do. So I've figured out a trick for these floaty bits of dirt, okay? I'm in single player view straight ahead out of the eyeballs. I have my pick in my hand. I get the dirt right in the middle of the, 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 the arrow things I can barely see and then I whack him with the mattock or the pick and the floating dirt goes away. I can't jump for beans but the floating dirt goes away. These I just need to pick up. But see those little floaty bits? That's how I'm going to get rid of them. The shovel is good for flattening. The, the, the spade is good for digging down. but use the pick on those floaty bits of dirt and they go away. That works.
Well, I've done it. I have done it. It took, I won't even tell you how many hours I think it might have taken. Um, but uh, it, it, that, this is, this is my house. This is my house. My first house in Wylands, or Islands, whatever. I have also been doing some planting of trees and bamboo, but first let's take a quick look at the house itself. Of course, the front is much as you've seen it in previous clips. I've decided to plant a couple elderberry bushes. I'm not sure I'm going to keep them. There's a third one that's going to be growing up and in. I had a third one in there, but it kind of grew into the house. So I took it down and planted a new one. And here is the end of the house. Eventually I want to put some glass or something in that remaining opening. And I may go ahead and do a second floor in there, but for now it was just a big structure in which I learned how to make the roof and all that stuff. The uh, I like the, how this end came out though. I think the patterning with the bamboo really works. I like it. I think it's pretty. I wish it weren't such a foggy morning here in my island, but uh, of course, here's the back, very straightforward. I didn't do a back door or anything simply because I don't think I'm going to need one. And if I do, I can always put it in later. So that is the exterior of the, the house. I've given myself a couple of steps. Uh, I know that there are actual steps you can put in and uh, we might explore those down the road. But for now, I just use some of the bamboo blocks. For the inside, I have started filling out some of the stuff. My plan here basically is to give myself a bed, a place to cook food, a place to store food, a place to store general things, and eventually I want to build an alchemy station over here. I, I don't know what it takes to do that, but I hear there's a potion of flight, maybe? And I, I want to find that. I do. I want to find that very much. But the, the one thing I haven't done is I haven't really finished the inside of the roof. What you can do is take the same roof blocks or other roof blocks and flip them over and put them in the roof on the inside to smooth it out and give yourself a smooth roof. To be honest, there were two things that stopped me from doing it. One, I really have to go to bed. And two, I haven't decided yet if I really want to. And if I do, do I want to use wood? Or wouldn't it be neat to kind of put bamboo on the inside and have kind of a green inside? Plus, if I do a, a loft or anything, um, what's the effect going to have? Oh, and it's raining. It is raining and thundering out there. It, it, you know, I think I'm living in a rainforest. Honestly, I don't really know what environment I'm in, uh, except that I've seen what looks like uh, savanna. Uh, rainforests and beaches around here so yeah I get a lot of thunderstorms and a lot of rain in this game so maybe this island wasn't my best notion but I'm gonna keep going because I'm really pleased so far with what I've got going so before I sign off uh, and call this video good there is one thing I wanted to show you I have I, you know I need to figure out a way to make enough wood for all the projects that I'm working on. So I've literally just planted a whole row of trees and I'm checking to see how long it takes them to grow. And it's, it's the days are long and the growth takes a while. So I probably am gonna go ahead and start an entire grove of trees in the area. The same thing I found with the bamboo. I went through a lot of bamboo and um, you can see, if you remember what this area looked like beforehand, there was not this much bamboo here. I have planted it because I used a lot and what I was doing for bamboo initially was over here and I'm sorry I hope this isn't too dark because of the rain but uh, over here in the area where I was planting cotton and just testing out growth ay 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 I also just did a couple rows of bamboo and that gave me a lot of bamboo when I could collect it but it takes forever to grow so I think I'm going to have to deliberately make myself a grove of trees that I will have to husband along. I think that's the right term. Where I will plant rows and rows and rows and I will let them grow and I will starting one end to the other um, harvest them and continue to grow them as I need it. And the other thing I need to do too is it raining in my house? Tell me it's not raining in my house. 
Let's see here. Closed door? Is it the is it because I haven't put the inside in? Hang on, let's try lying on the bed. And I'm lying backwards on the bed. Okay. Sleep. Okay. It'll let me sleep. So why is it because it doesn't like trying to sleep when the weather is bad. Is it because I haven't put anything in the windows? Oh, no, no. I'll figure it out later. For now, I got to go, folks, because this episode is running way long. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Let me know if you did or if you have any um, suggestions for things that I can do in Wylands. I'm just learning, just figuring it out, uh, as are we all, because it's a fairly, it's still early access. There's a long way to go. And my next goal, like I was starting to say, I'm going to go ahead and build um, tree farms. I'm going to go ahead and build a farm farm because my biggest problem right now is that I get hungry and I don't really have a ton of food. And I don't really want to put out traps for meat because I like the horses being nearby. So at some point I need to corral the horses, I need to build them a barn, there's just a lot of things we need doing. And I need to figure out how to get alchemy started. I don't have a clue. And if you guys could hear the game audio right now, oh my gosh, it is a fierce storm, let me just say. All right, folks, thank you so much for spending time with me today. I do appreciate it. I hope you have a wonderful whatever, wherever you are. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you.